from around the globe, it's theCUBE. Covering HPE Discover Virtual Experience. Brought to you by HPE. Welcome back. This is theCUBE's coverage of HPE Discover the Virtual Experience. I'm your host, Stu Miniman, and we are now excited to be able to go beyond the hype of hyperconvergence. Happy to welcome back to the program one of our regulars, even though he has a new title. Patrick Osborne is the Vice President and General Manager for Hewlett Packard Enterprise Hyperconverged Infrastructure, or HPE HCI, as we could abbreviate. Patrick, great to see you. Thanks for much for coming back on theCUBE. Absolutely, Stu. Thanks for having me. It's always a pleasure to be on theCUBE. All right, so uh, you know, HCI uh, obviously has had a dramatic impact on, on, the, on the storage industry. Uh, you know, HPE has you know acquisitions like Simplicity. Uh, Nimble has a play there. You've got partnerships uh, with, with uh, some solutions, including with GreenLake. Uh, why don't you give us just kind of the update? You've been with HPE for quite a while. Uh, what really you know excited you about taking this job? And uh, then then we'll dig into the, the latest in the in the portfolio. Well, I think, uh, so what's exciting about this market is it's a growth market. Um, HCI is uh, certainly uh, a great solution for a whole um, swath of customer segments. Uh, so we talk you know, about these HCI solutions from everyone from our largest enterprise customers all the way down to our smallest uh, SMB customers. And it really fits the bill, um, not only for what you think about as standard HCI, um, where you're collapsing workloads and you're collapsing infrastructure. But also I think one of the interesting things that we've been able to deliver, especially with products like DHCI, is around delivering the HCI experience for three tiers of architecture. Um, and you know, I think that's really exciting for customers that you know, certainly are moving more towards generalists, uh, away from specialists. And you know, you're going to really get that HCI experience um, in addition to a lot of other things we bring to the table here at HPE that you know, we've talked about before, especially around AI ops and InfoSight and the ability to do uh, a ton of things around predictive analytics. So it's, just, it's an exciting space and it serves uh, almost our entire customer base. Excellent. Uh, now your group, you, you did some, uh, some announcements a little bit ahead of Discover. Uh, why don't you give, give us the latest on, on the news uh, and uh, lay out how the portfolio fits? Yeah, so uh, back in May, uh, we made some significant announcements on in the HCI portfolio. So both on HCI SimpliVity as well as uh, our Nimble DHCI offerings. Uh, one of the things we brought to market was around uh, VDI specifically, and we launched a new platform called the SimpliVity uh, 325. And uh, based on some new technology with our partner AMD, we're able to you know, significantly lower the cost and increase the performance for the number of remote users that we're, you know, that we're able to support with the platform and also bring together a solution. You know, so we, you know, we also partner with folks like Citrix and Citera and, and, and a whole number of folks so we can have a full ver uh, vertically oriented solution stack for customers that are doing, um, you know, they're significantly expanding their footprint around remote workers. And, you know, at the end of the day, it's going to um, cut in half and so say your 50% savings on your, you know, rem uh, per remote worker per desktop. So um, some significant savings there. And we've seen a huge amount of uptick for that platform in the last two months, even since we announced it. Uh, and then secondly, on the DHCI side, uh, we made a number of, uh, of announcements um, around Simplicity, uh, adding that uh, platform to our GreenLake consumption model, which is really cool. And then adding a whole uh, set of new building blocks on the compute side uh, based on AMD uh, technology that allows you know, folks to apply different types of compute uh, per workload uh, for our DHCI solution. So uh, we made a pretty, pretty big announcement uh, back in May around our portfolio for HCI solutions and uh, the customers are you know, definitely impacted you know, super positively uh, for both announcements. Yeah, it, 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 it's funny. Uh, I remember a few years back, uh, everybody kind of rolled their eyes a little bit. It was like, oh, you know, VDI, we've talked about it uh, to death. Uh, and of course, with the global pandemic, now of course, remote work so critically important. Uh, I've talked to a number of CIOs that have had HCI solutions and it's like, hey, I need to dramatically increase my services. I need to be able to scale things up. Um, and if I didn't have these solutions, I, I wouldn't be able to react as fast as I need. Um, you said you, you've seen an uptick. Any, any particular anecdotes or, 
you know, customer stories as to how they've been able to react fast uh, in today's climate? Yeah, so um, especially for knowledge workers that are re uh, working remote, I mean, I can tell you that uh, almost 98 or 99 percent of, of my staff uh, and the folks at HPE are working remotely and they're doing a fantastic job. Uh, so, you know, when we're able to service, you know, very small customers that are just, you know, embarking on their journey for remote workers uh, to some of the largest corporations uh, out there that are partners and customers of HPE, we've been able to, you know, pr produce a, you know, a really good outcome for them. In addition to, you know, uh, you know, working with our partners, our reseller partners uh, to put this as another, you know, solution building block in their, in their bag of tricks, you know, for their customers. All right. Uh, the other thing uh, I want to talk a bit about is, you know, HCI is a managed service. So GreenLake, uh, I've talked to some, some of your team, has about a thousand customers. HCI uh, is, you know, one of the main options that they're offering there. Why don't you bring us inside a little bit as to, you know, why customers are choosing, choosing GreenLake and, uh, you know, what, what that means for your product set? So this, from a strategic uh, perspective, HPE, we, we stated this publicly, is that we want to offer, offer all of our products and solutions as a service uh, from a consumption perspective uh, over the next couple of years. And so, you know, one of those key things that we want to offer from a, from a workload perspective is certainly uh, HCI as a service, so VMs as a service, uh, and as well as, you know, higher level type of applications uh, like VDI as a service. And so one of the announcements that we made uh, was uh, including both of our portfolios, HCI and DHCI, in GreenLake. So you can uh, essentially, as a customer, you can start off very small and you are paying for the solution in metered increments. And we have lots of flexibility. You can do it at the workload level, you can do it at the CPU consumption level, you can do it at the storage consumption level. Uh, and so that gives a lot of flexibility. And for um, and that's great for our, our larger customers that want to move from a CapEx to an OpEx model. And but it also really helps a lot of our small and medium sized uh, customers who are, you know, in, in this environment, they are, you know, one of the top things in their mind is maintaining liquidity. Uh, and so they can move that to an OpEx model. And we actually have some really great offers that we uh, announced uh, with HPE Financial Services in conjunction with GreenLake on making this a very flexible, very cost-effective manner to consume infrastructure and provide um, solutions for their customers and their end users. Excellent. Uh, you mentioned uh, before a little bit about AI ops. Uh, what, 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 give us a little bit as to how uh, you see the really the next generation of HCI uh, take, taking advantage of you know automation, intelligence, and the like. Yeah, so uh, you know, as we've uh, talked on the queue before, one of the I think one of the marquee solutions that we have and experiences that we bring to our customers, in addition to the consumption level, is this uh, ability to do AI ops, global learning, predictive analytics for our workloads for our customers, and essentially really, really cut down on the cost in people that it takes to maintain these solutions. And then you can, uh, you know, essentially use the global learning and global aspect of, you know, a giant fleet of um, in our in our entire install base, and that gets applied to HC, HCI. So SimpliVity HCI uh, has been plugged into uh, to InfoSight for uh, uh, over about a year now. Uh, Nimble, obviously, a Nimble DHCI, it's uh, core to the product offering, uh, and, and it's, uh, it's, the, it's the best offering in the market for AI ops. And so our ability to do these things and provide predictive analytics, memory pressure, blacklisting and whitelisting the, the install base for problems, being able to reach out to customers before issues happen, noisy neighbors, VM consumption, storage consumption, all these things you know, really cut down and, and provide a really awesome support automation experience for our customers and essentially have you know, a seamless experience for managing uh, all of our, our systems. And when you think about HCI 2.0, being able to do that not only on a, a compressed um, infrastructure like HCI, but being able to do it on DHCI, which is disaggregated hyperconverged, so you can scale storage and networking and uh, compute separately, uh, and you provide that same HCI experience from a management perspective, and the AI ops around it is a game changer for you know some of the most uh, you know business and mission critical applications that our customers are running. All right, now, one of the big themes that we're hearing across HPE at Discover this year is about edge solutions. Uh, traditionally, I think of HCI really as helping collapse and simplify 
uh, the data center, really that, that cloud operating model almost uh, in, the, in the data center. Uh, where, where, where do these things connect? How does the edge fit into uh, this whole discussion? Yeah, so one of the beauties of HCI and specifically SimpliVity uh, is our ability to be uh, hyper efficient, uh, not only in the just the storage of the data. So, you know, from day one, everything is deduped, everything is compressed. And that's across both your on prem copies, as well as your DR copies, as well as your backup copies. And one of the things that we're seeing is that, sure, HCI is great um, to collapse workloads in the data center. Uh, and But what we're seeing now is the ability to go service workloads that are running outside of the data center. And when we talk about edge, we have some fantastic assets and a lot of customers you know, running our, our edge uh, compute solutions, our edge networking solutions, specifically wireless and Aruba. And what we're able to do is we're bringing those services, so compute, networking, and storage closer to the end user, but outside the data center. And so there are some challenges to that. Like, so how do you uh, federate the management of hundreds, if not thousands of, of clusters of, of these workloads running that could be anywhere from, you know, you could think about a small, like a micro data center to a, a closet to even just a, you know, a small form factor that could be in a, in a half of a rack uh, and being able to manage those effectively, but then also be able to pull the workloads and the data back. So be able to do edge to core to cloud from a data mobility perspective um, is something that we provide and, and uh, our customers are, are certainly deploying our solutions because of that. So a lot of stuff going on on the edge. Uh, and one, I think one of the other things too is that we see is people are running uh, virtualized workloads, so VMs, and then also starting to incorporate containers. Uh, so microservices uh, for you know, industry specific things like vision and video, um, and you know a whole bunch of things that happen around AI and ML at the edge. So it's a very exciting place. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm glad you brought that up. You know, obviously one of the things that we're hearing a lot of uh, interest from the community uh, when it comes to virtualization is you know what is happening with that really application modernization and containerization, a big piece of that. Of course, VMware with vSphere 7 uh, really helping to bring Kubernetes together to the virtualization environment. Um, how do you see all of these playing together? You know, you, you know bare metal virtualization, uh, containers, you know, you know, edge core cloud. Uh, it's, it's a complicated environment and you know, the goal of HCI was always to help simplify this, uh, but we know IT is, is a bit messy and additive. <laughs> Yeah, I think at the end of the day, you know, there are some basic services that you know customers want to run. Um, at the end of the day, they want to be able to deploy a workload on on infrastructure that can be managed remotely. They can be managed at scale. That provides um, resiliency. It provides performance, and it provides data mobility. Um, and HCI provides all of those capabilities, whether it's uh, you know through the HPE SimpliVity uh, portfolio or Nimble DHCI. Um, and so you have a number of different building blocks that you can build, uh, but on top of that is a set of data services and cloud consumption-like uh, experience that allows you to place those workloads on the infrastructure that you need and where you need it. And so if it's running at the edge, this commingling of VMs and containers, you know, we have a, a, a pretty unique uh, platform out there, especially for uh, things like AI and ML workloads in our HPE container platform. And so you can run that, for example, on something like HPE SimpliVity or DHCI, whether that's in the data center or whether you're running that on the edge uh, and being able to service those customers. Because it's not an all or nothing proposition. At, at this point, you know, a number of our customers are running workloads you know, that are virtualized and that are containerized side by side to provide, you know, essentially new services to customers, uh, their customers at the end of the day. Excellent. Patrick, I'll give you the final word, uh, takeaways you want uh, your customers to have from HPE Discover this week. Yeah, HPE Discover, the virtual experience has been great. Um, and, you know, I think everyone participating in this, uh, uh, you know, we'd love to provide you as much information as possible. We made a number of announcements uh, around HCI, both our HCI platform with SimpliVity, the DHCI. We made some really great announcements uh, recently around our primary storage. Uh, and then we're going to continue at HPE Discover around some of our cloud data services. So when you think about someone who's going to provide, uh, you know, you're going to partner with from a customer perspective, on your most valuable workloads, whether it's workloads that exist today or workloads that are going to fuel your digital transformation, HPE really is a partner that's providing um, you know, the infrastructure, 
the workloads and the cloud-like experience, both like from a management perspective as well as from a consumption perspective, uh, that's going to service these workloads from edge to core to cloud. So um, we're, we're pretty excited about HP Discover and all the announcements that we have today. Excellent. Thanks so much, Patrick. And we'll be right back with lots more coverage from HPE Discover. I'm Stu Miniman. Thank you, as always, for watching theCUBE. Thank you.